I used the Z key to enter material preview mode. I split the viewport and opened the shader editor. I make a new material and name it. I begin by using Shift A to add an RGB node that can be used to add color to my object. I use Shift D to duplicate this node five more times for a total of six different colors. I drag select these nodes and use Control G to place them in a group. I use the N key to open the properties panel. I can now change the label and give my group a name. I now connect each of the RGB nodes to the group output. Make the first RGB node white. Make the second RGB node dark gray. The third RGB node will be blue. The fourth RGB node will be red. For the fifth RGB node, I'll change the color to yellow. For the sixth RGB node, I'll change the color to green. If I open the Group tab, I can now change the name for each RGB node. When I use tab to exit the group, I see that I now have a color node group. I change the label under the node tab. I can now plug each of the color outputs into the base color. I want to use this color node group in other Blender projects. To do so, I save the Blender file. I can now open a new Blender file. I split the viewport and open the shader editor. I go to File, Append, and find the file I just saved. I open the node tree folder and append the node group. Using Shift A, I open the group menu and select the node group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about making a color node group in Blender, then you're probably interested in 3D modeling or texture art. So if you are interested in those topics, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.